to bleed the brake for any car, uh, we must have to uh, put enough uh, brake fluid in the reservoir. As you can see, the reservoir is, is here. I removed the lid from, and uh, this is what is my favorite uh, brake fluid that is uh, Wagner, something like that, 21. So, this is working well for most cases. What I have to do is, I have to put uh, some quantity in so that it should come up to the maximum level, which is up to here. You can see this mark is there, maximum. It's little bit is required actually. There is enough quantity in. So now I am up to maximum. I have to fix the lid on, and of course, here is the lid for the brake so the reservoir. So I put it in, not fixed yet. So what we have to do is for the brake bleeding of the front wheel you can see as the wheel is removed from now here in the back side you can see here is a bleeding uh, plug you can see here and what's the purpose of this is we have to lose it and it will bleed so while we will tight it it will hold the fluid in so the purpose for the bleeding is actually while we are working on the brake as we worked on this caliper so it's holding air in so the air is coming to the top up to this this side this this direction the air is coming because this is on the top so we will have to remove that air from there should be no bubble no air in the system instead there should be plain uh, uh, brake fluid in the system to work it properly so for this purpose I am using my 8mm wrench because this is 8mm in size and I have to loose it up like this and another thing I have to use is you can see this bottle and uh, this tube this tube is actually perfectly fixing on this 8mm bleeder, bleeder plug so I have to put my spanner and along with this I have to fix this tube on the plug you can see now so I have to lose it up like this okay now the second person should be there in the car and he should uh, press and release the pedal he should pump on the pedal the brake pedal so that the fluid will come here and the air will also be released with okay please uh, pump the pedal slowly slowly okay okay do it do it okay that's it press it press 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 only press so now we will press and we'll tight the plug on this position like this so what we will do is have to remove this and this fluid we will put back in the brake system and we'll do once again the bleeding procedure holding the tube here and showing on the camera the same procedure because in this process the fluid is coming down and we are bleeding that along with the air so now we are not entering the air in the system instead we are just only adding fluid, fluid the brake fluid to the system by this way so again we will repeat the procedure two or three times we will re repeat the same procedure so that it will bleed each and everything I mean the air from the brake system okay pedal okay pump it Okay, that's it. Hold. So on this point, we hold it. I do the same process again. I'm filling this fluid in the same chamber because this is reusable. Okay, pedal it. 
Pump it. Press, press. That's it. So three times we did it. Now we removed the whole air from the system. And we have to tighten it perfectly so that it should not become loose. Okay, check the brake. It's tight. Perfectly tight. Stiff pedal. A spongy. Stiff. It's okay, so it's stiff. And now as we did the procedure and we have to clean the residue from the brake as we did the procedure so little bit had been come over here we have to clean it and that's it this was what was our easy way of bleeding brake bleeding there are so many other ways also but this was the easiest as people are using for your knowledge i just share with you thank you for watching keep on watching do subscribe like and stay tuned.